Uh, today I'm going to be using the Derwent Intense Pencils as I'm showing on screen right now. They are so much fun. Uh, I'm using watercolor paper, uh, the same watercolor paper that I used in my previous videos. Uh, because with the Intense Pencils, I'm going to explain this while I do the line art on this here drawn. Um, the Intense Pencils are water soluble, but they are, if I can get this right, because they have it in the name, they're ink tents, so they're ink pencils. So they're not just watercolor pencils, they are ink tents. So if I read the back, pencil to ink in in just one wash. Derwent Intense Pencil combines the vibrancy of ink with the subtlety of pencils. So they are really fun, so I will explain them uh, later on in the video. But I had so much fun. and. I think they, they definitely work better on this watercolor paper because when you add water to just normal paper it it just buckles like crazy and it's just unusable afterwards it's just it's just not just terrible so you with this water you can apply like so much water to it and it it holds its shape pretty pretty well um, a little thingies about this drawing is I don't know why I'm like obsessed with like the movement of hair so in this one I just I drew her eyes first that was the first thing I did um, I don't know why I was like ah, you know what I want to fiddle with the face shape first so I did the eyes and I made them humongous and I was kind of like feeling my face kind of being like okay the corner of my eyes go, go down to the edges of my nostrils and the nostrils then go to like almost the edges of my mouth so I was like trying to keep proportion but I mean what why why am I trying to keep proportion like looks cartoons and things like that aren't supposed to keep to proportion so whatever so I made her eyes super big and um yeah which I enjoy so much and her lips kind of medium because if she had I tried I think I tried bigger lips and it just looked a little bit weird I don't know, it just, it just looked weird on this face. Um, yeah. Uh, as you can see, the proportions are kind of, are really out. But they're not supposed to be realistic, so who cares. Anyway, so the hair. I always struggle with kind of, with hair, you know. You know, trying to, ah, I don't know. If I can get my words, I will, I will explain. All right, so the color of the hair. Now this is the Intense Bark color, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just have a look. I'm pretty sure it's Bark, hold on. Yeah, Bark. So I wanted to do more realistic kind of hair, not too realistic, but I wanted normal hair color. So um, in this set of 12, the brown hair seemed to be the most realistic and I say that in air quotes because I don't know it's not really but yeah yeah so um and I was like oh you know could I do two-tone hair color with this kind of light brown but I, don't know, I didn't think they could work together well so I changed my mind and I just left that streak and then later on you can see me add more so that it looks like she had like one highlight done kind of like rogue from x-men but in brown <laughs> yeah so you can see now how these intense pencils work there's a variety of different ways that you can use them similar to the sakura uh, koi uh, water what coloring brush pen so you can either apply it straight onto the paper and then like i'm doing here uh just use wa a water filled brush to just move the um, move the pigment you know along the paper and you can see I made some cuts because this took forever <laughs> and my camera only records 20 minutes at a time so it just took forever so I'm just like you don't have to see everything because there's some really small details but I've cut quite a few bits off but yeah all right so um what was I going on about yeah how this works so they I do how do I put this when you first go in with a color the first time it is quite light so I had to go in again and go over it 
with a darker color and it was it's kind of challenging to get the highlights that you could get with like a Copic marker or a colored a color pencil because this is it's harder to predict um, how it's gonna work but the other way of applying it which I've heard that you can do is you kind of take the crayon and then scribble it on a piece of scratch paper and then you use that scratch paper as kind of like a palette so then you take your water brush and then you just kind of go in on that thing and then you take the color onto the paper so there are different ways and I I'm not really used to working with these on the the watercolor paper so this is kind of like a really kind of an experiment of how I can get highlights and shadows when it comes to the hair so it was kind of like just testing it out seeing if it worked and I, I kind of like it I think I would like it better maybe in different colors maybe because the brown can seem kind of you know brown but I kind of like the splash of the sort of orangey brown it does kind of look like orange from you know here but it, it is more brown in real life um, yeah but I really like the eyes like the eyes they're really cool and I never I always struggle with what color to make the eyes because like the you know the easiest would be blue green brown eyes but like I tried doing a pink eye before like making the crazy pink eyes but obviously as the name suggests it just kind of looks like they have pink eyes you don't want that you don't want your person to look like he or she is sick which is what it kind of looks like um, but I do have fun with making the hair kind of funky colors I don't know why I wanted to just stick with just a plain brown probably because you know in the set you have you have a, a kind of a darky darkish blue and you have let me let me name the colors yeah you have like deep indigo you have sea blue which is kind of cool you have like a neon green which is called apple green which is quite adequately named i think um also a red poppy red which is also quite adequ adequately named and leaf green which is more of like a like a sap green or like a brown green um i also was thinking of making her hair brown no this brown and kind of the the brownie green because i really like those two colors but whatever that didn't happen uh there's also teal green and i really like this um the thing is you know i lent these pencils out to a lady who's supposed to be an you know like smart when it comes to these kind of things and she just like mm. she didn't mm. trust me they came back and like half the pencil was gone i swear to god anyways um but i really enjoy it. they come in this cool like case um like cool metal case you can hear that all right so uh, excuse me blabbering on about all this stuff but anyways i think i've finished the hair now i'm just going back and adding more depth you know more color because it kind of seems a little bit washed out and i just wanted it to be like super punchy you know like a nice brown like a rich brown but i don't think i didn't seem like that i got that out of this anyway so moving on to the skin now with the skin the only sort of skin color you can do is you can see that that brown i used for the hair you can use that um you can use that brown on her skin and you can use that as skin but there isn't really a skin color in the set so i was like screw it i'm not gonna bother so what i did was and you'll see later is i used my sakura koi coloring brush pens for the skin and it just i mean i wanted to try the ink tense pencils on the hair not necessarily the skin um yeah and I'm just, I'm still adding more depth here. It's just, let's just make it, uh, I just wanted it more, like, colorful, colorful, like, just punchy, punchy. Um, yeah, just add more shadows. And then by, by that way, adding more highlights. Um, but I really like the kind of light streaks. I think it looks cool. Here, I think I'm going for the, no, I might do the eyes first. 
No, I'm not gonna do the skin first. I forget what I did. Anyways, so we're going for the skin. I'm using a mixture of the colors on the lid of the Inktense pencils, just mixing them and kind of getting a kind of a skin color-y thing going on. I did kind of mess up on the skin. It doesn't look like that here on the camera. It kind of looks like a really pale skin, but I kind of used two pinky colors and she kind of looks a little bit sunburnt if that is an <laughs> accurate way of describing no yeah she definitely looks a tzatziki sunburnt um yeah another thing about the pencils is they leave kind of marks on the paper um you'll see that in the close-up because it's hard to get the all the you know the, the 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 nib of the stuff you know off the paper and get it properly worked in with water anyway so i'm trying to add shadows because i forgot that i used woody brown as skin tone before idiot so she kind of kind of looks a little bit sunburnt but it could add a little bit more of you know warmness to her face Alright, I'm going in for the eyes, which, like I said, she's going to have green blue eyes. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so she's got green blue eyes, which is a lot of fun. So sometimes a little bit more of the green, sometimes a little bit more of the blue comes out, which is more realistic to eyes these days. <laughs> what am I even saying? Oh my god. Anyway. Uh, here with the lips, you can see this is the third way I use to apply is I take the wet brush to the nib of the pencil and then I just kind of use the, 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 the brush, um, the end of the brush and just go onto the end of the, the nib and get it like in there to get nice, nice uh, bright colors on her face. And then I went in with some of the Sakura to get in better shadows because I didn't I didn't think the shadows were great um, before, so I just added a little bit more. And I and there we go. There the eyes close up. If I can freaking focus, there we go. There's eyes, lips. Okie dokie. Cool. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And there is a zoom out. I'm not a very good cameraman. Ooh, that's yeah, I'm very bad. Anyways, thank you so much. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Have a great one. Bye.